So welcome back to my channel it is ijoma here in today's video we're going to learn how to make this organza ruffle detail it is very beautiful so let's get straight to the point here i have my pattern paper my organza my crino line this crino line that i'm using they normally use it for a fascinator but i couldn't get the color of crino line that i wanted i had to settle for this i have two yards of organza here i have my crino line i have six yards of crino line here so for one full sleeve you will need like four five yards of organza you need like four or five yards of organza first of all i'll find the midpoint of this pattern paper this is 40 inches so the midpoint of 40 is 20 inches that is the length then along the width the width the wideness of this pattern paper is 28 inches and the midpoint of 28 is 14. now i have gotten the midpoint of the pattern paper i posted this type of tutorial few days few weeks ago but this is for the organza that method is a kind of different and the reason why i'm cutting on a pattern paper is because if you mark a chalk on an organza you may not really see it and cutting out on a pattern paper will help you to replicate as many as possible right now i have gotten the midpoint of my pattern paper the next thing that i will do is to measure two two inches round the midpoint from the midpoint i will measure two two inches round normal two two inches circle so after marking the two two inches round you will go ahead and connect the normal circle this is the first circle you you mark at the center of the pattern paper so right now i will connect my two two inches circle round this is what i'm that is what i'm doing right now i'll go ahead and connect my two two inches round and from there i will start marking my spiral flounce or my flounce so i'm trying to connect the two two inches you can do this with your free hand i am done now we will determine the full the length of the flounce you are free to determine how wide you want your flounce to be it can start from four inches and above i want mine to be five inches plus one inch seam allowance that is six inches i will mark six inches on one line i have done this before so after marking that six inches you will connect that six inches to one side of that former circle you measured the two two inches circle you measured you can see how i connected it from the six inches i connected back to that circle to one side of the circle right now i will start marking six inch inches around that center circle i'll start marking six six inches around the center circle You can see how i'm marking that so after that you connect your first circle and right now we are marking a spiral flounce a spiral circle that means this circle will be continuous it will be continuous it will not close the first inner circle that two, two inches circle that i marked before i closed it right but this particular circle will not close so when i got when i got here i continued marking my six inches around the first spiral flounce or the spiral circle that i marked I'm done with the first. Now the second, I will continue connecting my 60 inches measurements that I got. I'll continue connecting that. You can see just continue connecting your six inches and when i got to the end of this pattern paper like as i am I'm a, as i am approaching this mid line i noticed that i have exhausted my pattern paper so if you are approaching that area where the pattern paper cannot accommodate your six inches or five inches or any length you will have to close that flounce around there so you can see i have reached the end of this pattern paper so i just had to 
close the pattern paper a bit i just had to curve it a bit then after that i uh, will go ahead and cut off the outer part of this flowers that i marked i'll go ahead and cut out the outer part you can see that the end point of this flounce is curve it is not straight you can leave it straight if you want especially if you want to join your flounce you can see i have cut out the outer part then i will open my flounce just follow this circle continuously I've gotten to the end of that circle and you can see that the inner two two inches that I marked before is out and now I have my flounce I, like I said before you are free to determine how long you want yours to be like mine is six inches wide that's why my flounce is not too long if you are to use three inches or four inches you will get more circles and that means your flounce will be long so here is my organza I want to cut out this pattern on my organza organza i have folded this organza into two the reason why i'm folding it is that i want to double the organza so that it will look thick the organza is very light the former video that i posted i used my ankara fabric as the lining i turned the ankara with another ankara but for this one i am not turning anything i will not turn anything i'll just throw the crinoline line around the edge and then turn and then fold you don't need to turn but if you're making an ankara or if you're using another fabric you can turn so that the crinoline will be in between the two of them you can see i double this organza so that it will be thick a bit if you want you can make a single organza and that is fine i am done cutting out this one i will go ahead and cut another one i'll keep this one aside I'll fold my part, I'll fold my organza again and I will cut out another flounce because I want the sleeve to be full. Like I said, if you want your sleeve to be full, that means you will use four yards or five yards of organza to achieve a full sleeve, just for one sleeve. So right now I am cutting out the second flounce and after cutting this flounce, I will go ahead and iron. You notice that the organza is rumpled. I will go ahead and iron. Then I will run a stitch to hold these two organza together. Remember this organza is double. The organza is double. I will run a stitch around them to hold them together. So this is what I have now. I will go ahead and run a stitch around this organza. And after doing that, I will iron. I am done joining two organzas together, two organza pieces together. And this organza is looking thick. I run a stitch at the edge. I don't know if you can notice that this organza is double. So right now, I will add my crinoline at the edge or at the hemline of this flounce. This is my flounce. I have two organza here. It is looking very fine and I have ironed. I will introduce my crino line. This is my crino line. I will go ahead and run this crino line at the edge of this organza. Like I told you, this organza will not have any lining. But if you're using a normal fabric, you should turn it with a lining. I'll go ahead and run this crino line at the hemline of this flounce. I'll also repeat the same thing on the other flounce. So right now, I will join them. I'm done running the organza. I'm done running the crinoline at the hem of the organza. I'll go ahead and fold. You can see how I'm folding it. I'll go ahead and fold it in, then run a stitch on it. I'll just run a stitch to hold it down. I'll repeat the same thing on the other organza. I'll fold in and I'll run a stitch. So right now, I am done running a stitch. And you can see what I have here. I will go ahead and iron properly. Please iron. Iron this crinoline 
area so that the edge will look flat it will make your work to look very very neat so right now i'll go ahead and iron properly make sure that everything is flat I am done ironing and I'll also iron the small sleeve that I will add this organza to. This is the very small sleeve that I'll add to the organza. I'll add the organza to. So right now, I'll go ahead and gather on this sleeve. Over to my sewing machine. Please, before you start gathering, if you have an overlocker, you should overlock this rough edge before joining to your sleeve if you have a weaving machine please weave before joining to your sleeve so just go ahead and gather this organza on your sleeve if you have enough go ahead and gather it very very well i'm just doing an in an illustration but if you are making it for your clients you should gather very very well so that your flounce will come out very beautiful and neat I am done with the first one. This is the second organza. You can see it is looking fine already. If you overlock, it will give your work a very neat finishing. And that will be all for today. At the end of the day, this is what we have. I hope this is beautiful. Thank you all for watching and thank you all for subscribing. Please, registration for our February classes is ongoing. Chat me up on Instagram at so with Ijoma. I'll drop the link to our Telegram group in the comment section so that you can join our Telegram group and you can get the details for the class thank you all so much and please we are also running a physical training we have a fashion school so with ijoma fashion academy in enugu we are in enugu so if you want to register for our physical training please chat me on instagram and you will get the details see you all in my next video bye